Okay, here we have our Arduino Uno, and we can see that the LED attached to pin 13 is still blinking from our previous sketch. Now what we're going to do is we are going to connect an external LED, uh, and to do this you will need a breadboard. Here we have a mini breadboard. You will need an LED, doesn't matter which colour. You will need a couple of jumper wires and a resistor. Now we need the resistor to limit the current that will flow through our LED. Without a resistor, we run the risk of burning out our LED. An LED can only take so much current before it will burn out. So this resistor is there to protect our LED. To work out which value we need for our resistor, we can use Ohm's law. So here we have our circuit. We have our 5 volts coming from our, our Arduino uh, going through the LED, through the resistor, back to ground. So there's a voltage drop of 2 volts, over the, around about 2 volts over the LED. So our current, we want to be less than 20 milliamps because this is about as much uh, current as the LED can take. So we can use Ohm's law to work this out. So our voltage that we need to work with is our 5 volts minus the 2 volt drop over the LED, which gives us about 3 volts. So if you had more LEDs in um, series here, you would need to adjust this further. So with Ohm's law, we've got uh, V voltage equals I times R, so current times resistance, so therefore resistance equals voltage over current so if we're using that three volts that we're left with we've got the resistance will equal three volts over and i've said here that i want to have around about 15 milliamps just to be safe so we've got resistance equals three volts over 0 0.015 amps and that gives us a resistance of 200 ohms. So in this case, any resistor between 220 and 470 should be fine. And for our circuit, we are going to use a 330 ohm resistor. So that should be fine. So what we need to do is we need to plug in our LED to our breadboard. And if you haven't used a breadboard before, breadboards work in a certain way. So with this particular breadboard, all of these pins here are connected along that horizontal line. They are not collect connected vertically. So none of these holes here are connected vertically, only horizontally. And also none of the holes on this side are connected to the holes on this side. So there is a gap in the middle there. So if I take my LED and I connect it across one line of holes this way, then that is a short circuit. So we don't want to connect it that way. We want to make sure they are connected across different lines. So I can take my LED and connect it up like that, and that is good. Now, with the LED, you will notice that one leg is slightly longer than the other. So this is the longer leg here, and that is what we call the anode. And the anode is the positive side of the LED, and the cathode is the negative side. So the cathode, the shorter side. Also, you can't really see it here, but on the cathode side of an LED, there's a sl slight uh, flat spot. So flat spot on the cathode side and the anode side has a rounded edge. So we have our anode positive, cathode negative, and an LED will only work the one way. If you connect it the wrong way, then you, the LED won't light up. So we want to connect this. So we'll put the anode side up the top here on one line of holes and the cathode down a bit further. We will take our current limiting resistor and place one leg on the same line 
as that cathode leg of the LED and the other leg down a bit further. We will take our black jumper lead and plug that into the same line of pins that the resistor leg is on and we'll take our red jumper lead and place that along the same line that our anode from our LED is on. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to take our Arduino Uno and unplug it from its USB power source. It's always a good idea to unplug your Ar Arduino um, before you connect up any of the pins. We're going to take this red jumper lead and place it into the pin 13 on our Arduino Uno and we want to connect the black lead to ground. So we have a choice. We've got three ground pins on the Arduino Uno. We've got two here and one over here. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. We'll just choose this one here. So I've got that all connected. Now I can go and plug my Arduino Uno back in. And we've already got the code loaded up. So when we plug in, we should see that the LED lights up exactly the same as the LED which is connected to pin 13.